Week of Trinity 13, Tuesday, the light of God in the way of Christ. For with you is the fountain of life, in your light we see light. Psalm 36, verse 9. Dearly beloved, the Lord is the source of real life. Both physical life and spiritual life have their creation from and receive their sustenance in the Lord God, in the Father and the Son and the Holy Ghost. As God provides the Son to enable us to see the world around us, so also he sends his Son and the Holy Spirit to redeem us and to enlighten us along life's way. This is of particular importance and comfort in the days of trouble and the times of sickness. Lazarus, whom Jesus loved, was so sick that his sisters, Mary and Martha, whom Jesus loved, petitioned the Lord to come. Jesus receives the word and purposely delays. Then after this, he said to the disciples, Let us go to Judea again. The disciples said to him, Rabbi, lately the Jews sought to stone you, and are you going there again? Jesus answered, Are there not twelve hours in the day? If anyone walks in the day, he does not stumble, because he sees the light of this world. But if one walks in the night, he stumbles, because the light is not in him. John 11, verses 7 through 10. Jesus only has a certain amount of time before he will have to be ready for the church at sunrise on Easter morning. Before that day of resurrection, he must allow himself to be betrayed, mocked, crucified, and buried. The same is true for those whose hope is in Christ and his heaven. The Lord calls us to the light of his life, and we walk the way of the cross, for that is the only way to the day of resurrection. We are called to walk in the valley of the shadow of death and work while it is day. That is, we remain faithful until called from this world. Each of us has only a certain amount of time, the length of which only the Lord knows. We are called to abide in Christ, follow him, work hard, and commend ourselves into his risen arms. Thus, Jesus invites his disciples to follow him. Let us go to Judea again. The disciples are astonished and likely quite wary of returning to Judea. Those Jews who opposed Jesus had sought to kill him. They would have stoned Jesus, John 8, 59, had he not hid himself from them. These workers of iniquity picked up stones again to stone him, John 10, 31, and would have done so had Jesus not prevented it. Jesus would not be diverted from what the Father sent him to do for all and for you. This the Savior accomplished, that all may follow him to the cross, through the tomb, and into heaven. In the meantime, Lazarus remains sick, and two sisters watch the road for Jesus to return in time. Like those three, we are called to remain faithful in this life, work while it is day, trust in Christ for forgiveness, salvation, and peace, and wait in expectant hope for the return of our Lord. May God grant it. Prayer O Lord my God, dearly beloved Father in heaven, as we are strangers and pilgrims on earth, help us by true faith and a godly life to prepare for the world to come, doing the work you have given us to do while it is day, before the night comes when no one can work. And when our last hour, when my last hour comes, support us, support me by your power, and receive us, receive me into your everlasting kingdom, through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Ghost forever and ever. Amen. Hymn number 130, stanza 1. O God of God, O light of light, Thou Prince of Peace, Thou King of Kings, to Thee where angels know no night, the song of praise forever rings. To Him who sits upon the throne, the Lamb once slain for sinful men, be honor, might, all by Him won, glory and praise, Amen, Amen.